use of stage setting and prescription thereby creating a momentum in our thoughts and actions impetus 22 with all guns blazing is ready to offer you a spread of platter over two days on day one we have our first speaker dr shekhar algungi is taking you to the intricacies and the complexities of case taking through simplified skills and our second speaker dr n madan senior homeopath who will be enlightening on the challenges and approaches to prescription when syphilis squeaks out of our side it throws a challenge for homeopaths so one need to master the skills to hunt down this syphilis and we have with us dr s ilango our third speaker to throw light on this also some exciting sessions of open forum weaved between the sessions to provide you an additional opportunity to be inspired and to learn formal inaugural program will resume in a short while requesting the audience to remain patient thank you
Attention, dignitaries of today's function, Professor Dr. Satish Dhari, Honorable Vice Chancellor of NITTE, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coilo, Director of Father Muller Charitable Institutions, have arrived. They are paying tribute to the pioneers of your institution and homeopathic system of medicine, Reverend Father Augustus Muller and Dr. Samuel Hanneman, by garlanding their bus in our premises.
as the dignitaries are marching in elegance and paving their way into the auditorium, I request the August gathering to rise and welcome them with a thunderous applause. We now have a symbolic welcome in the traditional Indian style, the Purna Kumbha Swagatam and the Aarti performed by the students of Fadamula Homeopathic Medical College. Kindly be seated. Just as the knowledge emerges from the ignorance, light from the darkness, peace from turbulence, we the humanity emerged from the fears and inhibitions of the pandemic, trying to find the traces of joy, peace and the process of something we fondly call it life. With the advent of COVID-19 came the new way of accepting life under the tagline New Normal. Our seminars became webinars. On-time classes turned online classes, immutable classes now can be muted with Zoom did it all for us. I believe the pressure of new normal is slowly fading from all our memories and practices. Today when we see the homeopathic fraternity teaming together for the cause of kindling the process to success, we are more than assured that life is back again. Good morning and a warm welcome to Impetus 2022. So the wait is over, here we begin the inaugural ceremony of 25th Annual Homeopathic Conference Impetus 2022. Where you can't find a way, believe God is the way maker. When you are in doubt, believe God is the promise keeper. When you need a miracle, believe that God is the miracle worker. Kindly rise for the prayer song as the students of Father Muller Homeopathic Medical College lead us into a time of worship. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as the dignitaries are being escorted to the dais by Dr. Vivek Shaktidharan, Organizing Secretary, Impetus 2022, Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, our Chief Guest, and President of today's function, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, Reverend Father Roshan Krasta, our Administrator, Dr. ESJ Prabhukiran, Principal, and Dr. Wilma Mira Souza, the Vice Principal. Kindly be seated. To welcome the August gathering and to begin the proceedings, we have our principal and chairperson of Impetus 2022, Dr. E. S. J. Prabhukiran. Sir, may I request you to kindly deliver the welcome address. Good morning. Respected Director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho. Reverend Father Roshan Krasta, our Administrator, Chief Guest, Dr. Professor Satish Kumar Bandari, Vice Chancellor, Nita University, Vice Principal, Dr. Vilma Mera Disauza, Organizing Secretary, Dr. Vivek Shakti Dharan, Members of the Advisory Committee, Members of the Management Committee, Faculty and Delegates, and dear students, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this 25th Annual National Homeopathy Conference, Impetus 2022. Ever since 1880, Father Muller charitable institutions have been serving the sick and the suffering with the motto Heal and Comfort. Today, FMCI, with the number of healthcare institutions, serves as a citadel of healthcare, medical education and research where, be it patients, professionals or students come with an assurance that they will get what they hope for. Guiding all at FMCI, we have in our director a humane person and a visionary. I welcome you fathers to this inaugural program and I request Dr. Vivek Shakti Dharan, Organizing Secretary of Impetus 2022, welcome with floral bouquet. It is my pleasure to introduce our chief guest, Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Vice Chancellor, Nite Deemed to be University. Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari was born in a prestigious family of Irava, Ira Bavad, Bavabidu at Ira village in Dakshin Kannada district on 14th September 1955 to Mrs. Gopi S. Bandari and Herur Sadashiva Bandari. He had his primary education at Ira Primary School, high school education at Kurnad Higher Primary School and pre-university education at St. Aloysius College, Mangalore. Dr. Sadish Kumar Bandari started his academic journey in Mysore Medical College from where he graduated, followed by diploma and then post-graduation in ENT from JJ Medical College, Davangere in 1986. After serving a distinguished academic career of 28 years, Sir was appointed as Vice Dean and served as in that capacity for a period of five years. Currently, he is Vice Chancellor at NITE deemed to be University since 10th November 2017. He held a long list of executive or non-executive posts such as President of Indian Medical Association South Canada Branch, President of All India Association of Otolaryngologists of India, Karnataka Chapter, he immensely, immensely contributed to the advancement of his branch through numerous national and international publications and lectures. lectures. Dr. Bandari has initiated several new programs in patient care and healthcare delivery to rural areas, which includes Gramak Shema, Nitte Smart Village Project, Shema Sandhya, Health University Initiative, and Nitte Seva Dal. He vastly contributed to research and has received external research grants of more than 30 lakhs from Baba Atomic, Baba Research Nuclear Science Government of India for his research on radio protective activity of phytoceuticals. Dr. Bandari is involved in many extension and social causes 
and was instrumental in establishing Mangalore Rallingectomy Club at K. Sekdar Medical Academy, Mangalore. He is the recipient of various honors and awards, the most prestigious one being Fellowship at UNDEM FRCS from Derek Anderson, President Royal College of Surgeons of England during his convocation held at St. George Hall in October 2018. He was awarded Arebata Award, Distinguished Alumni Award, Eminent Educationist Award, Samaj Ratna in Medicine, Saurabha Ratna Award and Achievement Award to name a few. He was also given Lifetime Achievement Award by Association of Otolaryngeologists of India, Karnataka Chapter. Sir has 83 publications and has attended more than 80 national and international conferences and has more than 25 present, uh, presentations at the conferences and scientific meetings all over the world. He has authored two books. One, a, a collection of rare medicinal plants of coastal Karnataka. It is about the collection of medicinal plants in this region. Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari also has one patent to his credit. He was instrumental in inaugurating Sakura Science Forum at Inite University. Having heard Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari during the inauguration of Celomics Lab at Nitte in association with Miyazaki University, I am convinced that Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari is a great motivation for all at Nitte and also can give his inputs in research and give us opportunities as a homeopathic medical college in research forum. Sir, I am happy to welcome to you to this program. And I request Dr. Wilma Disouza, Vice Principal, to welcome him, Sir with a floral bouquet. I welcome our administrator who inspires us in our activities and motivates us in whatever we do. We see a constant change and growth in the institution under his leadership. I welcome you, Father, to this program. I welcome our Vice Principal, Dr. Wilma Mira de Souza, who looks after the every detail of all activities in the college. Welcome, dear Dr. Wilma. Homeopathic Conference is, a, is an academic venture of the faculty and students of Father Muller's Homeopathic Medical College has been going on every year since 1997, except for the break given by COVID. This year, we have Impetus 2022, which showcases young research, at the same time, gives us to share our experiences and learn from our seniors, to, to, to put this theme into practice and to lead all, at the, all the faculty in the college. We have Dr. Vivek Shakti Dharan as our organizing secretary, of this Impetus 2022. Dr. Vivek, I am very happy to welcome you to this program. I welcome our medical superintendent, Dr. Grish Nawada. I welcome the management committee members and members of the faculty. A special welcome to Dr. Arban Disouza, Dean of Father Muller Allied Health Institute of Health Science, Allied Health Sciences. Welcome to you, sir. I also welcome our resource person of today, Dr. Shekhar Algundi. Sir, thank you for uh, consenting to be a resource person and welcome you to you, sir. I welcome Dr. Shiva Prasad, Principal, Yenupai Homeopathy Medical College, and uh, Dr. I acknowledge the presence of Dr. Um, Dr. Itagi from Yenupai Homeopathy Medical College, Dr. S.K. Tiwari, and Dr. Amin Amir from Udupi. I also welcome all the delegates from internal and external to this program. A special welcome to electronic and print media friend. While I thank you for your coverage and I welcome a special welcome to you all each one of you. I especially welcome the alumni who are attending this program and who will be with us 
for the next three days. Welcome to each one of you and wish you a learning experience for the, these two days of Impetus 2022. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for those warm words of welcome. We were called out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Light signifies knowledge, commitment for a new beginning. As we witness to quest for the knowledge, let us now formally inaugurate Impetus 22 symbolically by lighting the lamp. May I now request our chief guest, Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bhandari to do the honor. I also request the dignitaries on the dais and also Dr. Anjali, our first registered delegate to kindly join for the lighting the lamp. Thank you all. Kindly be seated. We are all ears, heart and mind as we eagerly wait to hear from our chief guest, Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Honorable Vice-Chancellor, Nite Deralakate, Mangaluru. Very good morning to each one of you gathered here. Thank you, Dr. Prabhu Kiran, for the lavish introduction. Thank you very much. Presiding officer of uh, today's very momentous occasion, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, the director for the Muller's Charitable Institutions, Principal of Father Muller's Homeopathic Medical College, Dr. Prabhu Kiran. Very dynamic uh, organizing secretary of this conference, Dr. Vivek Shakti Dharan. The Vice Principal Wilma Isoza. The Administrator of Father Muller's Homeopathic Medical College, Reverend Father Roshan Kasta, very distinguished resource persons. I don't want to name them, but I want to recognize the presence of uh, Professor Dr. Tiwari, who has substantially contributed for homeopathy in the city of Mangalore. Very distinguished delegates who have come from far and wide, from various homeopathic medical medical colleges of the country, invitees, dear students, members of the press, and ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely happy to be part of this uh, very momentous occasion, the inaugural function of uh, Impetus 2022. Understand the very historical occasion, 25th uh, Annual Conference of uh, Homeopathy, Homeopaths of India. I should congratulate uh, both the delegates and I should congratulate uh, the Father Muller's Homeopathic Medical College principal and uh, vice principal and uh, all faculty 
very distinguished faculty are there in homeopathy medical college i should congratulate them for organizing this uh, meeting this moment has become very special because we are assembling i think for the last two years i don't know whether we organized the uh, conference in a physical form we are all i think the mc said we are all in a new mode but we are slowly returning back to the normalcy and we are having uh, this wonderful occasion of meeting our friends colleagues alma mater teachers i think most of you are uh, probably alumnus of uh, this homeopathic medical college i, un I understand this is one among the first uh, few first uh, homeopathic college in the country could be but but i think this has got a long history of uh, I'll, i'll talk about that later but anyway this is one of the oldest uh, homeopathic medical college in this part of the world and uh, naturally lot of students have must have gone out of this portals of uh, Uh, in this institution uh i'm sure that uh, all the delegates i think i understand that uh, more than 500 delegates have registered for this conference i assure you that you will have very fruitful uh, conferencing in mangalore for two reasons one is homey father muller's homeopathic medical college hosting that and you are in the city of mangalore as you all know conferences are meant for yes academic deliberation but also for uh, exchanging ideas and very important aspect networking because nowadays we talk about lot of networking you talk to your uh, leaders you talk to your um, colleagues who are i think that may be stalls instruments and dealers of various medicines and we will be talking to a lot of people lot of other institutions now with the collaboration is the norm unless you collaborate and net do networking nothing grows so that should be very very important part of this conference like along with academics and also exploring places in in and around mangalore and also experiencing the good food i think mangalore is known for lot of things i i think all of you know that mangalore is the pioneer in banking you might have heard about syndicate bank started long back and we have got a very distinguished position of uh, hosting four national four nationalized banks and uh, all of them probably you know that they merged with other banks we lost our identity but the people have brought banking is our mangalorians or south kendra people those days we had undivided uh, uh, district we had kudupi and mangalore now we are two first uh, in but uh, we are one culturally socially we are one but banking and you know that hospitality industry is you no know, mangalore is the pioneer again in hospital industry wherever you go you see udupi hotels when you go to bombay delhi bangalore wherever you go even new york or you if you go to japan i had gone to japan i went to europe many places we look for our uh, mangalore hotels and even though cooks may be from nepal or other places the people entrepreneurs are from mangalore so that is the on another um, very important character of this area basically we are entrepreneurs mangalorians are entrepreneurs that's what we should i think all of you doctors should uh, be entrepreneurs also we should be job givers that than the job seekers so that is very very important what we yes there is a satisfaction by having your own clinic but you also should employ or give jobs to others so that's an entrepreneurship that's again it is there in the blood of mangalorians and uh, educational institutions i think in this road itself we have got three universities we have got mangalore i think even now the future padamulal has also become a university we hope that padamulal has become it has got all the potential to become a university one wonderful university i always admire padamulal medical college medical college and institution for the medical uh, institutions i really like the way that you kept the campus how you received us the guests how you the whole process is so systematic garlanding the uh, muller and then the homeopath uh, who brought homeopathy to the world 
all that was very so systematic thank you very much and hospitality you have given to me this is what we should learn from institutions always i admire i in one in my institution i will say always in any meeting i will quote padamulla's medical padamulla institutions so systematic i like this atmosphere so mangalore is known for a medical institutions there are uh, we got nine institutions nowhere in the world in such a small place our population may be around 6 7 lakhs but we have show 10 lakhs or including all the villages but we have got nine medical colleges here and homeopathic medical college and many ayurvedic medical colleges name any institution is there in mangalore starting from fashion technology to every every name any institution any that's there in mangalore and it's become an education hub and we uh, attract lot of students from all over the country so that's again a very important thing and we have got uh, nice beaches is known for temples it is known for chapel churches it is known for dargahs so you got lot of things to do in the next i don't know how many your days you are staying here after two days conference you extend your stay for one more day visit all these places i mean a very nice relaxation after this covid uh, 19 covid pandemic we call it vishwa guru it has taught us lot of blessings now it has become a guru for us vishwa guru and we know now where we stand our egos all have disappeared now because we you know that uh, we are nothing in front of any calamity or any uh, uh, man uh, god given curse or anything whatever you call it but yeah as a scientist or as a doctors we know that is a treatable condition but you know the how we are taken for uh taken for a ride during those two years we didn't know what to do so after this all that calamity all that uh, problems now we are back to normalcy i hope you will take this opportunity to explore both academics and entertainment one more important this in a lighter vein we have done lot of things to world you may be knowing that uh, miss world is given from uh, mangalore you may be knowing all of you know me knowing very uh, familiar with aishwarya rai she is from mangalore we have given mr world i think he is from uh, padavulas institution raymond raymond dizoza he is uh, he is a mr world is from mangalore in a lighter way you have given many underworlds also mangalore we have got underworlds <laughs> so we are very multifaceted people so you should recognize mangalorians as a special breed of people in this committee of uh, world uh the one more important thing i what i missed is homeopathy is given to india by father mullers institution because always you miss some very important because that's why when i was going through the what is first in mangalore then i thought father mullers that uh, you know that the institution of uh started for 142 years back see the legacy of father muller's institution 142 years for the muller father augustus muller he came to mangalore and i told you as a teacher and also as a doctor you say homeopath he was here le- he learned homeopathy in uh, germany and he came with a lot of love for the people and also with a uh, lot of homeopathic medicines he brought from germany and uh, started treating people those days i you know you can imagine 142 years back what will be the status of treatment there is no treatment for tuberculosis there no treatment for leprosy infectious disease you know smallpox how people used to die those days uh, it was a beacon of hope a person coming and treating patient particularly leprosy patient those days i am again i am uh, very grateful to father mullers medical college for treating such diseases tuberculosis and leprosy leprosy is mainly that was a main and uh, dermatological diseases i think father mullers known for all those in even now it is very popular for treating these conditions so so again homeopathy is again is the gift to this nation by father mullers institutions 
uh, I understand uh, Homeopathy Medical College, which was started a little later, now imparting education for undergraduate, postgraduate, and it's running a hospital here. And very important uh, one point I uh, failed to uh, impress on you is the homeopathy drugs are manufactured in this campus. I am really happy that because uh, manufacturing drugs is also very important. Quality drugs. So I think when uh, uh, this particular aspect of preparing homeopathic medicines, I think all factors are taken into account and I am very happy to tell you that the drugs are manufactured and exported to other countries from this place. So that is additional uh, facility. I think the delegates can visit that place where it is, how it is manufacturing unit. So you will have interaction with the industry also. So again, this is another uh, advantage of having conference here. You can have both aspects. One is manufacturing of the drugs. You can have industry interaction. You can uh, look at the uh, how it is being manufactured and uh, how it is dispensed and all those things. So this is another very important aspect of uh, uh, this homeopathic medical college and advantage of having conference in this campus. Uh, Father Muller's call uh, institutions, I think they are primarily involved not only here, they are involved in, as you all know, the medical education, nursing education. Again, nursing is very, very speciality of Vadamullah's medical college and people are always quote the nursing care given in the Vadamullah's medical college. All these things are, I am talking positive things what you can get from an institution because that should be our this thing. Because we are in the neighborhood with nothing to, we envy the things and we should get the cause positive things. Always we should learn from other others, learn from others, others mistakes as well as uh, their uh, positive things. That's what should be the uh, goal or the aim of your person. And should not be uh, envious. It should not be talking ill about others. You talk positive things about others. That is the, one of the noble qualities what we should do. And I'm very happy that uh, Father, Muller's, uh, Father Muller institutions are doing great job. They're doing yeoman service the mankind, humanity in this part of the world. Uh, and I was talking to uh, the principal that he said he was interested in research also. Because I am not going to talk about uh, homeopathy because it is not my forte and I am not going to. Because there is a lot of controversies. When you, uh, allopath talks about uh, this thing, he has got, got, his, got his own reservations about the modality of treatment in homeopathy. Uh, there are arguments for and against homeopathy and what I call a similarity principle, what I, I understand, what you follow is the similarity principle and uh, there are a lot of people who contradict or they got difference of opinion about that, but I am not going to touch up on that because what I was, I was thinking that uh, we call talk about evidence based medicine, always we talk about evidence based medicine. But many times we fail to give evidence for medicine as well as the cure, how the patients get cured. There are people, they say I had cancer and I was treated, I went there, here and there, even biopsy was fruit, not in India, even other countries, they say some miraculous I got cured. I became all right. There are many conditions. Particularly in homeopathy, I got few of my relatives who go for homeopathy treatment for chronic dermatological conditions. We, the, in our uh, allopathic treatment, uh, we offer everything, and most of them steroid-based ointments will be there. Sometimes when the diagnosis is very, very vague, they get uh, this thing. But when they don't have other hopes of getting any other treatment. I have seen they are going for alternative treatment, maybe homeopathy, Ayurveda, Siddha or Yunani or any other, other alternative medicines. But they find relief. And uh, there is a debate uh, saying that whether the uh, medicine is a science or art. And most of the people in olden days, they said it is more of art than the science. 
but slowly the concept is changing yes it's a science it's a science it's a both art and science according to me medicine is both art and science it's not only science is also art so why have we say that it's a art sometimes uh, we uh, see some of the students very very mediocre were poor background during their studies sometimes they fail many times and we condemn them that, that they may not do well in their uh, career today i see them doing exceedingly well in practice medicine practicing medicine some have become extraordinary people and we actually we thought they'll not do well in their professional practice what makes them they different because their knowledge if you see they may not do well they may not treat patients well but when they go to private practice when they do treat patients they become uh, really good doctors then what makes them a good doctor their art of medicine they know how to treat the patients so art of medicine is totally different from knowledge you acquire in medical colleges art of medicine most of the time we treat don't teach them in the medical colleges most of them because we are for marks what is the formative assessment how many marks he has got in intel assessment is eligible for appearing for the examination many fail to get into even take the examination because they failed in intel assessment marks or attendance that is again a big problem in the medical colleges they don't come for the class they come late they miss the morning class once they miss the class next day class so they don't come because the teacher asked why you didn't come the previous day so i have seen some one of a few of my colleagues from mysore medical college they left the medical college because our anatomy head of the department you may be knowing she became vice chancellor later she was very very tough and most of the people they discontinued the course most of the sense few of them from particularly from this part of the world because they started missing class in the beginning and they started they were irregular and they stopped attending classes finally they left hopes and they were uh, rotting there for years together so this can happen so art of medicine we sometimes we don't teach but art of medicine is very very important for a doctor whether it's a allopathy doctor or homeopathy doctor or ayurveda doctor but i i always see the people with the alternate medicine they have got better approach to the patients probably you that makes you more a distinct category of doctors because your approach is totally different you talk about the diet their exercise their food food habits if you got time to extract history you go by the you don't go by the investigations you go by the personal approach to the patient so that makes you distinct so what makes a doctor not only is professional or academic knowledge what is very very important is soft skills you should have good communication skill you should have good listening power you should listen to the patient sometimes what we do not have time you when you are seeing many patient you will not have time to listen to the patient but you are should be forget of all the pathies it may allopathy homeopathy or arthropathy what is important is sympathy and empathy that is very very important for the doctor if you are empathetic to the patient i think he'll get half page half the disease will be cured always the patients because i also i'm also a practicing ent surgeon patients come sir why you why after coming to you after listening to you we felt better we became better that what then what is that that what is that factor they say the healing touch is also very important for a doctor so the, all these things are very important um, along with the professional knowledge i think uh, this is being imparted in this homeopathic medical college and i i hope this message will be taken by the uh, the delegates who are here and also it will be reflected in all the talks of the distinguished resource persons always inculcate values among the, our students values among our citizens values both it has, it applies to the patients also so this is very very important and uh, and uh, uh, the principal is talking about research i think uh, in homeopathy also I, i don't know how what is the level of research you are doing we should not hesitate because let us find out what is the truth behind some certain 
form of treatment. Because even now we are doing a lot of things. Uh, the music therapy sometimes we say. When I was the head of the department at ENT, I started in my ward music therapy to the patients. And I wanted to see the pain threshold after the surgery. I did find a change. The pain threshold increased and the perception of pain decreased. They were feeling better. Again, what type of music? Is the soothing meat music or the uh, jazz or, or a high level, high decibel music? All is uh, the or instrumental music. If we can study. Definitely there is evidence. When the plant itself, itself they become different. They can change. They yield, their yield improves by music. What about the human beings? So such things, even yoga now or the, some other um, meditation, all that. All that can complement the existing system of medicine. It may be allopathy, it may be homeopathy or Ayurveda. So we should always get the knowledge not only from our system of medicine, you should get from other systems, other uh, uh, ways of treatment so that you can improve the quality of life, particularly quality of life. When, when we talk about uh, uh, chronic illnesses, Non-communicable diseases like cancer or autoimmune diseases, I think. I got, that got, this is a role for, I always see, autoimmune diseases, allergy. Homeopaths are doing well in this particular area because even uh, uh, allopathy, we don't have much to offer sometimes. We do and finally we take the shelter of steroids in the form of sprays and other things. But a lot of other things are there. Even naturopathy is good giving lot of complementary support for allopathic treatment because always food, exercise, way of life, stress, all these things play both in origination of originating disease as also perpetuating the disease and also decreasing your uh, life expectancy. So all these things will be taken care and this can be the uh, important aspects of a research, what we can do. You can have a collaboration. I think we should not hesitate collaborating with allopathy. If the college interested in doing some research on particular areas like this, uh, autoimmune diseases or it may be in allergic disease, we are willing to participate. We are willing to collaborate. We can have memorandum of understanding because so near, I think these two institutions are so near, I will definitely, I will be more than eager to participate in this collaborate research because I am very much interested in collaborate research, research because um, uh, about two, three years back in my village I found one particular bark in my family house. There is one plant. They were removing the bark and treating the uh, people. I, I came to know that when one particular house they are giving medicine for cancer and they were attracting patients from lot of uh, outsiders also used to come, even from Bombay and other cities, they used to come for treatment. Then I found this particular plant was had become totally denuded. They had removed the bar continuously. We never used to object they, for any, for any they are using for treatment. Then I wanted to find out what is there in that bar. Then uh, I got to know that it is called Orozylum indicum. That plant is called Orozylum indicum. And uh, we took the bark and then I, we did animal studies in our uh, laboratory. We have got molecular and cytogenetics laboratories are there. We are animal house. It's a good animal house. So we did uh, cellular changes with the, this particular bark extract, ethanol and uh, uh, extracts were taken from this particular bark of that plant. Then we got um, interaction with the Miyazaki University. They got a good lab there and I sent the extract to even uh, Miyazaki University in Japan and now we have found that it is as good as one of the import good anti-cancer molecule, as good as an anti-cancer molecule. But uh, what is the delivery of this particular, because what they give in Ayurveda cannot be replicated in the form of tablets or capsules because they are, we are giving in uh, extracts. So how to transfer, because always the bioavailability of this particular extract and in the form of tablets is totally different. So now we are working on that, that that's being patented also. 
so these are things uh, like we did on uh, uh, pomegranate plant is another patent I, i got for oral mucositis on patients who are having cancer and who are getting radiation and radiation causes destruction of the normal cells and they go for mucositis for them we are giving uh, we are preparing now a mouthwash where they can gargle and they can get relieved of the mucositis so these are the things that the one a person when a practicing ent person can do think of such things i think you brilliant find the delegates and the students of homeopathic medical college have got very bright future if you put your ideas ideation and now it is you know that startups have come up in a big way all the colleges should encourage students in getting ideations and proof of concept and converting into uh, uh, startup companies so these are the things where avenues you have got now, apart from your homeopathy practice with this a uh, uh, few words i thank once again for uh, homeopathy medical call the principal vice principal and all other administrators of uh, father mullah homeopathy medical college for giving me this opportunity to be part of this conference i hope the doctors will become lifelong learners i always we are advise the students you should be lifelong learners what about us we the teachers also should be lifelong learners both academics and in research so this type of conference always will help you to hone your skills and get involved and get uh, uh, interact with the senior colleagues very distinct resource persons i think it will help you in uh, becoming experts in the certain areas and becoming uh, you can rejuvenate your experiences professionally i wish i hope impetus 22 will be will make a last imp- impact in all of you both academically and uh, will have very well have very pleasant memories to carry from this conference wish you all the best may god bless you thank you sir for your valuable words of guidance and enlightenment souvenir is a memoir of all the best moments of impetus 22 thoroughly revised and engraved with perfection to bring you back your feel good snippets of the conference may i now request our chief guest professor dr satish kumar bandari to release the souvenir of impetus 22 Thank you sir for doing the honors innovation and empathy are the two wheels on which our homeopathic pharmaceutical division treads on today under the able leadership of reverend father roshan krasta hpd is spreading its wings to a new span now i request our administrator reverend father roshan krasta to begin the proceedings of new product launch over to you father good morning everyone respected director father mola charitable institutions professor dr satish kumar bandari the chief guest of the program and dignitaries on the days of the days and uh, my dear friends when i heard the speech message from the chief guest already mentioned about the importance of father mullahs homeopathy medical college also the pharmaceutical division he mentioned and i am very happy that he knows more than me about the history of father mullahs so wonderful to know dear yes, sir and today we are very happy to launch 
So varieties of shalom prickly powder. Shalom is one of the very famous powders in homeopathy um, section. And today we are here to launch a different improved version of different colors and fragrances. So with the tagline for instant cooling and healing. So with different colors and uh, we are bringing up today a uh, smaller pack also, 50 gram pack. Not only shalom powder, but also zero pain, one of the famous balm in homeopathy we have around here. And today we are launching bigger 50 gram um, package also. So I request our production manager to join with us, uh, Mr. Ratan Kumar. And also I request our director and uh, uh, chief guest to join with us. Uh, to launch these uh, uh, different improved versions of uh, Shalom and uh, Zero Pain. Yes. Thank you, Father. Father, we also request you to deliver your message on this occasion. So, this may not be a speech because we are going to be resource persons. I uh, will talk about different topics for which you, have, you are attending the program. And these, uh, we have uh, pieces, uh, I mean, uh, uh, sample, this offer is there. We can collect later in our stall for 50 rupees shalom powder. And this is uh, you know, for the handsome guys and beautiful uh, charming faces. You don't require, but you can use this shalom for the, for the graceful faces, graceful faces. And that will, uh, definitely will help you to be more graceful. So I thank uh, Mr. Ratan Kumar and entire staff of uh, Father Mullah Ch Pharmaceutical Division. And also I thank Father Rohan Dais, who was my assistant last year for initiating this work. So we conclude my message, Impetus 2022, Kindle the process to success on different topics that we are going to deliberate today. So I am very much grateful to Dr. Vivek Shakti Dharan and entire team for their wonderful work. And I welcome the delegates, our alumni and uh, faculty members, the students from Martins College from Tamil Nadu, and all our other external delegates, our students, postgraduates, interns. So I welcome all of you. And also, I thank the presence of former principals and our alumni and chief guests, I mean resource persons. I also thank the media people here. Father John was here. Father, I thank him and welcome him. So this is a milestone event, 25th homeopathy conference, 25th milestone event. And definitely this will help further deliberations in terms of research and learning experience. So conferences or seminars or continuous medical education help healthcare professionals to keep up the phase with its currents. Opportunity to directly engage with the experts, scholars, researchers, 
sharing the best practices and to adopt to the new skills and techniques. That is why it is very important to participate event like this. Here, by attending the conference like this, we can be acquainted with the scholars and researchers. So presentations of new ideas may open up new ways of thinking and practices. So it's very important to find the present research findings and adopt ourselves to the currents. I know you are going to be busy in practices, but updating knowledge with the currents is very, very important. And that is what we are going to do uh, on this event. So I welcome you, all of you, once again to this campus, Father Mula Homeopathy Medical College here at Derla Kate. And I thank everyone for um, being part of this wonderful conference. I thank my director for all the cooperation that he renders to us. Once again, I am grateful to him and the principal and the vice principal, everyone. So with this, I wish you all the best, all the success, a wonderful stay here, two days. And also, we are having the Milan um, the alumni meet tomorrow. Uh, so, and on thereafter, I think on Sunday also we have a sports event. We are going to play together. So I uh, wish all the success to all the events that are going to come. So thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Father. When we value the first few steps of today, we can imagine and explore giant leaps of tomorrow. Research and Scientific Committee, with its unbounded sway, is meticulously in the forefront of achieving the feat of releasing the inaugural Father Muller Homeopathic Research Bulletin with the objective of capturing the gist of college research activities. And to do the honor of releasing this, may I now invite Director, Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho. Thank you, Father. Father, we now request you to kindly honor our chief guest of today's function, Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Honorable Vice Chancellor of NITE, with a memento, and also to deliver your presidential address. Father, we request you to deliver your presidential address. Honorable Vice Chancellor of uh, NITTE deemed to be University, all our faculty, students, and especially delegates from all over India who have come here for this 25th National. Conference Impetus 2022. Well, first I would like to thank and appreciate Dr. Bandari, Honorable Vice Chancellor, our good neighbor, for having appreciated Father Mulla Medical College and charitable institutions and the contribution given by this institution for the last 142 years to this country and also to the globe. And also mentioning about the homeopathy, uh, that Father Mullah is the pioneer of homeopathy in India. And that's why today we garlanded his uh, uh, bust and the institution today stands in his name to continue his legacy which he began 142 years ago. Homeopathy is currently seen as top priority alternative modern medicine 
in india especially this part of karnataka and of course kerala in the 19th century homeopathy became very popular in europe and also in the states and later also in india but there was initially some fear subtle fear whether this kind of treatment uh, will harm the human body but later it was considered as a myth but rather homeopathy became a very popular system of medicine today and in the world today after allopathy homeopathy is the next system of medicine which is uh, practiced and uh, used for the treatment of the patients in the world maybe in india uh, second place is i don't know maybe is going to ayurveda after allopathy second place is for ayurveda uh, but soon homeopathy will become uh, at least it will come to the uh, second place in india for the treatment uh, i feel so many people think that homeopathy is um, uh, the treatment is of substandard rate or the medicine is cheap and um, uh, it has no much side effects and uh, pe- people go for it as dr rightly said um, in allopathy more on diagnostics and also on um, investigations whereas in homeopathy more and more of individualistic taking the case history uh, the family background the food habits uh, and uh, the entire psychology of the patient it is taken as a holistic way and then the treatment of homeopathy begins to that patient and uh, as sir said rightly uh, for all chronic diseases homeopathy is the right uh, treatment today that is what we see i am happy that um, the college for the last 25 years organizing a conference national level of this magnitude is not an easy job except for those two years and another good practice of this college is uh, the 25th batch of uh, the people who complete 25 years uh, the alumni students coming together as an entire batch to the college and uh, meeting uh, holding a meeting and uh, having interaction with one another it is a very good spirit and uh, to good to know what my companion is doing and uh, how um, uh, things are there today that is a very good practice and today uh, this for this conference uh, dr shaktidharan has as his name he has shown his shakti though is short um, in organizing this conference i am really grateful to him and entire team and uh, under the guidance of other roshan i am sure you will have very fruitful sessions today and tomorrow uh, to uh, share the rich expertise of other your seniors especially your teachers and also for the students and interns post graduates uh, to become uh, budding or good homeopath practitioners in the future and um, may god bless all of you and may this conference of two days go on well we pray for this god bless and all the best thank you father for your words of encouragement and your valuable presence nothing sounds sweeter and deeper than a word of gratitude rendered with the right attitude to dispense a tincture of gratitude percolated on the sands of time researched from the depths of his heart and to render it ethically i call upon dr vivek shaktidharan organizing secretary impetus 22 to do the honor respected dignitaries on the dais of the dais and all the distinguished members present here a very good morning today we are witnessing the inauguration of the 25th annual national homeopathic conference hosted by father mola homeopathic medical college impetus 
I deem it a great privilege to be chosen as the organizing secretary of Impetus, for which I feel proud to propose the vote of thanks. First and foremost, I offer my prayers and gratitude to the Almighty for bestowing upon us the blessings and strong belief to keep marching forward and perform our duties. I thank our fatherly figure, our director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coilo, for being a source of constant support and encouragement to us and for taking out time from his busy schedule to preside over today's function and gracing us with your presidential address. Thank you, Father. We are so honored by the presence of a very eminent personality in the field of medical education and research as our chief guest. Professor Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Nitte deemed to be university. Sir, we are blessed with your presence and enlightened by your message. Thank you, sir. My sincere gratitude to our dynamic and live wire administrator, Reverend Father Roshan Krasta for his ever ready attitude with which we are guided to metallization of Impetus 2022. For, thank you, Father. I am grateful to the personality whose creative ideas knows no bounds that lead us into innovations. And he is our enthusiastic principal, Dr. E.S.J. Prabhu Kiran. Thank you, sir. I wholeheartedly thank our ever persevering Vice Principal, Dr. Vilma Mira D'Souza for ma'am's timely guidance and supervision. Thank you, ma'am. I thank Reverend Father John Vass, Chaplain, Dr. Arben D'Souza, Dean of Father Muller Allied Health Sciences, for blessing this occasion with your valuable presence. Thank you. I owe a great deal of gratitude to our eminent resource persons, Dr. Shegar Alagungi, Dr. N. Madan and Dr. S. Elango for readily accepting our invitation to share their valuable knowledge with us. Hearing whose names our auditorium got filled with delegates in large numbers, not only from India, but also from abroad. Thank you, sirs. An event of this magnitude is impossible without a team effort. I was lucky to be backed by a team of meticulous and hardworking team, team players, my committee members. I take this opportunity to thank the scientific committee headed by Dr. Girish Navada for planning the scientific sessions. Dr. Kurian and Dr. John Paul for the tiresome work of scrutinizing and organizing the open forum presentations. Reception committee headed by Dr. Uh, Dr. Joshna Shiva Prasad for the efficient public relations work by taking care of the brochures and the compliments. Food committee headed by Dr. Raja Chandra for arranging the mouth-watering mouth delicacies. Finance committee headed by Dr. Dina Montero for the meticulous financial handling. Souvenir committee headed by Dr. Reza Cherian for pulling in our sponsors for the day and the beautiful compilation of the glimpses of Impetus 2022 in the form of Pioneer. Media and audiovisual committee headed by Dr. Blani Lobo for reaching out to the masses and the technical support. Transport and accommodation committee headed by Dr. Sebastian P.A for the timely management and effective handling. And finally, the logistics committee headed by Dr. Sajan K.R. for making our venue conference ready. A big thanks to each and every committee members. A special thanks to F Reverend Father Rohan Michael Dias for the timely provisions. I also recognize the presence of Dr. Shashikant Tiwari, former director of NIH and a former principal of Admiral Homi College. Sir, thank you, sir. Dr. Shiva Prasad K. Dean and Dr. Itigi, the vice principal of uh, Yanapoya Homeopathic Medical College. Thank you, sirs. And her heartfelt thanks to Dr. S. Senthil Kumaran, the principal, and Dr. Alamara Selvan, vice principal and the faculty members of Martin's Homeopathic Medical College, Coimbatore, for taking pain in bringing their students to participate in large numbers for impetus. And a special thanks to Dr. John Pradeep for organizing or encouraging the students and coordinating the group. 
a special token of gratitude to all our well wishers who has sponsored impetus their names will be displayed on the boards thanks i thank each and every sponsor thanks to the prayer song by rosmerin and team and the mcs of today's program dr g rajachandra and dr mabel andrade for beautiful and coordinated comparing of the inaugural session i also thank the mcs who will be comparing the scientific sessions thank you all dear student volunteers for being present in every corner where your help and assistance was required thank you for helping us in effectively organizing the program this event was made a success by the enthusiasm shown by the large crowd of delegates from all over the country which includes practitioners academicians researchers and students and made even more colorful by the participants of open forum paper and poster presentation a big thanks to all for your support i thank the housekeeping department maintenance department attenders ward mates and all the non teaching staff for their supporting roles i thank the maya caterers rose arrangers and anvita telecommunications for their support for the event and also thanks to the me members of the media for providing us a wide coverage a special thanks to all the ug and postgraduate students of fadmulla homeopathic medical college for making this program a grand success by your presence thank you all <laughs> last but not the least i thank each one of you personally and in the name of management for contributing to the success of this event if i have left everyone i am extremely sorry for that wishing each and everyone a wonderful learning experience thank you thank you all thank you dr vivek we request the august gathering to rise for institution anthem the audience to remain standing as the dignitaries recede as we come to the end of the formal inaugural program of impetus 22 we now request you all to proceed for the high tea which is going to be served on the left side of the auditorium 
the high tea that is provided for the staff and the external delegate doctors will be served on the left side of the auditorium and for the students it will be served at the entrance of the auditorium so kindly proceed for the high tea wishing you all the delegates of impetus 22 a happy and fruitful learning may your intellectual appetite be satiated Kindly remember to be back in the auditorium in 15 minutes to resume the first scientific session by Dr. Shekhar Algundgi. Thank you.